Tyrone, played by Alan Halsall, was left to his own devices on Coronation Street, looking after his daughter Ruby Dobbs, Macy Alabi, when Fizz, Jenny McAlpine, decided to take her daughter Hope, Isabella Flanagan, to Birmingham for several months after the youngster was causing havoc with her behavior. The mechanic's grandmother Evelyn Plummer, Maureen Lipman, was on hand to help her grandson, though the two have recently become distant after it was revealed the pensioner was the one who left Tyrone on the steps of a police station when his mother gave birth to him years ago. However, florist and Weatherfield nanny Mary Taylor, Patty Clare, saw the help Tyrone needed in looking after Ruby, with the mechanic struggling to juggle his home life with his commitments to work at the garage. After months of being away from her partner, Fizz will soon make her return to the cobbles after Jenny McAlpine, 35, took a break from the ITV soap for maternity leave, but it might not be as simple as settling back into life on the street for her character. Although the couple's relationship seemed strong before Fizz left the street, on her return to the cobbles, Fizz could struggle to adjust to life back in Weatherfield with Evelyn possibly continuing to make life difficult for the bear. When Fizz left the street once before 18 months ago, with the actress taking part in I'm a Celebrity. Get Me Out of Here, Tyrone slept with kebab shop worker Gemma Winter, Dolly Rose Campbell, which put the couple's relationship under strain when Fizz uncovered the truth. Tyrone has remained faithful to his partner this time around, however, with Evelyn only recently getting her own relationship back on track with her grandson following their dispute, she could decide to cause some mischief, having not taken a liking to Fizz when she first arrived on the cobbles. Evelyn could stir the pot if she discovers Tyrone accidentally thought Mary was his secret admirer when the mechanic received a Valentine's Day card from his daughter last month, with the nanny writing the message on behalf of Ruby. However, wanting to bring a wedge between the pair, Evelyn could decide to tell Fizz her grandson was unfaithful to her again, having an affair with Mary while she was away from the cobbles. With Fizz out of a job as well following the tragic underworld factory roof collapse which aired this week, the mother could begin to spiral into despair as she decides not to confront Tyrone but constantly worries whether she can trust her partner. Could Tyrone be left guessing what he's done wrong if Fizz packs her bags once more and leaves Weatherfield with hope for good as she struggles to accept whether she will ever be able to get over her partner's supposed betrayal? However, if Fizz decides to confront Tyrone and Mary about their affair, the former factory worker could turn her attention to booting Evelyn out the couple's house once and for all when the mechanic explains his wires were crossed over the Valentine's Day card. Actress Jenny McAlpine recently spoke about her future on the cobbles when speaking on the Humans of Excess Manchester podcast. Jenny said, the thing is, you never, never know and I can't ever take it for granted because they, the writers, might have other ideas one day. But for now, I love it and I live in Manchester, I've got my life in Manchester and now two children in Manchester, the actress went on to add. It has not yet been confirmed when Fizz will be returning to Coronation Street but there will be drama aplenty as her brother Chesney Brown, Sam Aston, is set to become a father again with his girlfriend and his sister's former love rival, Gemma. The rebel with a heart found herself embroiled in the factory collapse disaster with the underworld factory workers when they decided to protest about boss Scala Connor, Alison King, outsourcing production as she knew the roof was unsafe. But they and the other Weatherfield residents didn't realize, with the roof collapse claiming the life of beloved character Rana Habib, Bavna Limbaka, when she went to the factory to get her bag on her wedding day to, Kate Connor, Faye Brooks, 
Following the death of Rana and the disaster which unfolded, the finger of blame will be pointed at K-Test Sister Kala as a police investigation begins into how the roof came to collapse. However, what no one yet realizes is the carnage was caused by the soap's latest supervillain, with the tragedy the first act in their reign of terror no the cobbles. Coronation Street continues Sunday at 8 p.m. on ITV.